Welcome to my five minute craft. Today we'll need a wood cutout of your choice, some scrapbook paper or any kind of paper actually would work, parchment paper, a sandwich bag, sandpaper, scissors, and an iron. First, what you're going to do is cut the top off of the sandwich bag. If you don't happen to have sandwich bags at home, you can use plastic wrap like saran wrap. Um, it does wrinkle a little bit more. What I'm doing right now is cutting the sides so that way the sandwich bag will lie flat. It needs to cover the entire wood cutout. When you turn on your iron, make sure it is on the cotton or linen setting. Get that warmed up while you're getting this prepped. That will be the barrier between the paper and the wood. The plastic will kind of help adhere it. Now why I love this project so much is because I do love uh, sometimes just an easy, easy way to adhere paper or pictures to wood. And Mod Podge does leave a lot of little bumps and such. So I'm going to lay the paper on it and then I'm going to lay the parchment paper over. Uh, you can use wax paper as well, um, but I found that that works. The parchment paper seems to work pretty well. My iron is steaming a little bit. It's on the highest setting. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to steam. You just want to completely cover um, the paper with the iron until you feel like it is not going to come up. Make sure it cools before you touch it because it does get very hot. Now I'm going to cut around as close to the edge as possible, the extra um, plastic and paper. And once I do that, then I'll take my sandpaper and I will sand the edges a bit. And that's about it. Now you have a nice decorative wood cutout. Very, very inexpensive. Thank you for watching.